Alright, what's up guys, good morning and welcome back to another video. We are in Chorley, uh, the lovely city centre, town centre of Chorley. Once home of the Chorley GP, which is uh, unfortunately no more. A little weather update this morning, wet. But in the defence of the weather, it's supposed to be a wet morning and then for the rest of the afternoon and also the foreseeable future, like for the next week, it's going to be sunny. So I'm not too, uh, not too fussed about the weather this morning. Got a few things to do anyway. I've currently come into town this morning to get my hair cut um, because I'm about to go away for, the, for about a week and it's, it's, it's looking a little bit long and I hate I hate my hair being long. So that's what we're doing right now I've got a little bit of a, a little bit of kind of ooh, a little bit of information that I need to share with you right now uh, last night I was on the trampoline with Lexi like with with the dog just messing around jumping on the trampoline acting about four years old and I was doing some flips and stuff and I don't like I've never done this before on the trampoline but I, I've somehow like I don't really know how to explain it. I'm, I'm guessing I'm guessing I've pulled maybe a rib or like my intercostals or something like that. It didn't feel that painful last night when I did it. It was kind of just like a quick sort of shooting pain in my chest. I was like, oh, I felt that. Uh, I obviously stopped. I stopped jumping on the trampoline. I, I I went back inside and whatever. And I woke up this morning and I rolled over in bed. And I'm like, it's, it's like it's painful, but it wasn't that painful. So uh, I decided that I would just go on my on the fixie and, and do a little bit of a, a lap around my village to just to just test it. Um, and initially like I, I, I felt like it was okay um, But I decided to start like pedaling a little bit faster and pushing a little bit to get my heart rate up And as soon as like my heart rate started started increasing and I started like breathing heavily um, I, I really was getting some shooting pains down my chest and also like the, the top of my back I'm not I'm not too like I'm not worried about it uh, I'm not worried about it at all because it's any it, it, it's quite a sharp shooting pain But it didn't feel like a, like I didn't do anything significant when I did it and it didn't really hurt that much so I'm just gonna like basically uh, I, I had a long ride planned today um, I don't think I'm gonna be able to get that long ride done but what I'm gonna do I'm gonna get my hair cut this morning uh, go about my day and then this afternoon I'm gonna try and go out on the bike and you know if I can do if I can at least pedal easy then it's better than doing nothing pretty frustrating but you know luckily i'm not i'm not racing this weekend uh, my next race is next weekend so i'm not stressed about it and we'll just see how i feel this afternoon there is a chain gang on this evening um so if i can like re like just rest up for today and and not do too much exercise and, and like see if this thing heals up quickly i can always go and do the chain gang tonight so that's the current situation this morning my appointment is booked in in about 10 minutes so that's 10 minutes for this rain to stop and I don't get wet. I mean, I've not even got a jumper on. Let's come back from my haircut, obviously. My, my chest and my upper back still don't fit. Ow. Like, oh, okay, that hurts. That hurt. Ooh. All right, my back, my back and my my chest still aren't great. Um, don't know what I'm going to do today with, with, with riding at the minute. I don't think I'm going to be doing too much, but I have just been to the shop and picked up some more avocados, some eggs, and some sourdough toast. Who's calling me? Oh. Hello? Alright, so I've just been around to my cousin Ed's house to drop off some things that I borrowed off him. And, uh, they got a new dog. Hello? You are tiny. This is Bella. Bella the Collie. She is about eight weeks old, I think, nine weeks. Come here. How old is she? She is about ten weeks. I think it's actually ten weeks today. Ten weeks today? Ten weeks today. Happy birthday. <laughs> is she trained yet? Uh, a little bit. That means no. That means, yeah, that does mean no. She's not as good as Lexi. She's at the biting stage, she's just biting my hand. Ow! Ow! She's got really small teeth, doesn't she? Yeah, short, sharp teeth. Let's have a look. Little needles. <laughs> look at them! Look at them! Look at that! God! <laughs> oh, it went for the camera! What are you doing? <laughs> now don't bite me. Don't. What are you doing? <laughs> oh, she's going for, she's trying to get the camera. Good job, buddy. What are you doing? Mm. Oh, now, it's, now she's growling. Hey, I just want to be your friend. I just want to be your friend. They're so playful, aren't they, when the puppies? Yeah. All right, so in that little, uh, little play fighting session, Bella has drawn blood on me. Vicious dog, Ed. You got a vicious dog. Alright guys, so a couple of months ago you saw me review 
uh, I'll give my kind of initial thoughts on the BLS Vela Racing bag that I store all of my kit in. I gave my views, opinions, and feedback on the uh, on the bag. Since that video, uh, BLS have ha actually hooked me up with uh, with a new version. It's called the BLS Vela Racing Exclusive range. Um, this got some updates, some features that I'm going to get into. My old bag, I gave this to my sister. She now uses this as her kit bag, and she absolutely loves it, just as I do. So. The reason that I'm telling you about, the reason that I'm going to be doing this little bit of a, a review slash thoughts is because I've come to an agreement with BLS and in return for this review, they're going to be giving away $300 worth of equipment to one of you guys that's watching, that's watching this video right now. Not you, Lexi. You're not going to win a bag. Sorry. So, the new bag, the new grey kit bag, we'll call it. I think, I think it's slightly bigger. I think it's slightly bigger than the old, than the original bag. Now, one of the issues that I had, or one of the kind of the, the feedback, the criticism that I had with the original bag was, other than, other than the little uh, accessories pouch that came with the bag, there's no there's no pockets in there's no pockets on on the bag so you've got nowhere to store maybe a race license some cash other than it potentially getting lost in the actual com like the main compartments of the bag so this is where the new bag comes in guys the two main upgrades to this bag are it com now comes with a side pocket um, that I that I keep well, currently I've got some deodorant in there and uh, a pair of sunglasses. Now this is a big bag, like it is, it is a big bag, but I kind of like that because it's it's a one bag fits all kind of scenario. So I can take, I can fit all of my kit in here, whether it's winter kit, summer kit, my shoes, my helmet, everything that I wear on a bike race is going to be in this bag. Like I don't have to take a separate shoe bag, a separate helmet bag. It's all just in one bag. So that's kind of the trade off you you accept for having a big bag. But I like that as someone who who likes to be organised and efficient uh, uh, and, and everything like that. I just like it all being in one place so I know where everything is. Anyway, the other the other new feature of this bag is this kind of side pocket here, which when you un undo like that, it has a pair of sliders in. But also in this pocket, you've got this little compartment here, a number of different compartments here that I don't know, maybe you can store your phone in. Again, your race license can go in here because you know you can put it in this pop pouch here, zip it up, and it ain't going anywhere. You know it's not going to get lost. I also have found this side pocket to be quite efficient with putting a rain jacket, a gilet, and also like my overshoes. That kind of stuff that you take to race just in case the weather turns bad, but you're probably not going to use it. Other than the side pocket, it's made out of a slightly different material, but the main components are basically the same as the original bag. You've got this top compartment where your main kit can go here. Uh, I've got my sunglasses, a pair of socks. Your shoe compartment here, I've got size 47 feet and um, they fit in there nicely. Also this compartment where you can just yeah throw in some kit. I've got a, I've got a long sleeve jacket in there at the minute. And then finally the lower compartment, which as you can see has a helmet and also um, this the same accessories pouch that comes with the original bag. Again, in here I keep some uh, I keep my gels and race food and stuff. I'm very much a fan of like organisation and just everything having a regimented kind of set. Uh, location so like I know when I get my, my bag out of the car I need to get a couple of gels I know exactly where they're gonna be so yeah thank you so much to BLS for sending me out the new bag this is handmade in South Africa which is where the company is based so that's that's pretty cool as well uh, so like I said if you want to be in with a chance of winning one of these, uh, click in the top line of the description. It's a link. It's going to take you to the BLS website. I think you have to fill in like your name, email address, and stuff, and then you'll be entered into the competition. We've already given away one of these on the on the on, the, on, of, on of the channel. We've already given away one of these on the channel. So if you want to win one of these new, updated, improved, and slightly bigger version. Go and fill in your details and best of luck. Also, one last thing that I forgot to mention is the, the kit bags come with a couple of these uh, drawstring bags where if you experience a wet race day, which okay is quite often, um, you can put all your wet kit in these bags, then put them back into the kit bag. That way it doesn't get your kit bag stinking. And when you get home, you can just put your, your, your wet kit and also the drawstring bag in the washing machine to wash it all, keeping your main bag clean. It's a great little idea. Good job. All right, so it's sort of like mid-afternoon right now. Um, I've just spent a bit of time putting together some things, some bits that I need to remember uh, ahead of leaving to Norfolk tomorrow morning. But yeah, right now it's like mid-afternoon and I'm, I've, I've put my kit on. 
I'm gonna head out on the bike and I'm gonna see how I feel. So the sun came out. I think what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna ride. I'm just gonna ride until my chest starts hurting. And if it does, I'll head home. I can't believe it. <laughs> Literally can't believe it. I do all these races, train across the country with, every, with everything I do. And I injure myself on a bloody trampoline. What is going on? I mean, literally I've done about two minutes and I feel fine so far, so I'm just gonna continue riding like this and I will update you guys in a little bit. All right, so that is us just coming up to 30 minutes. So far, I don't feel too bad. I mean, I can definitely feel it, but it's, a, it's manageable at the minute. So I'm just gonna keep tapping out of zone two right now and we'll see how far I get. I reckon it's a pretty good idea waiting for the rain to pass and then we're going riding in the afternoon. The weather this afternoon is sick. The roads have dried up, sweet. The sun's come out. It's a completely different day to what it was this morning. But I'm coming up to an hour now, 50, 58 minutes. And like, I don't feel too bad, but every now and again, I get a, I get a little bit of a shooting pain like through my chest and like around my lungs. I don't know, like, so I'm not too concerned, but I am a little bit concerned, but I'm not really that concerned. So I'm gonna start heading home now. It's like another 15 minutes until until I get home and then uh, and then call it a day there and just, just take the hit on today's training and just miss a day in the hope that it's just a short thing and it's gonna pass tomorrow and I'll be good again. The worst thing I wanna do is push through it today and then tomorrow it makes, well, it makes it worse after doing that and then I'm like a write-off for a week. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I think that's the best call to make. Just miss. Like I kind of, part of me kind of feels soft, but part of me's trying to make a smart decision. So 15 more minutes, hour and 15, zone two. Let myself rest up and we should be good again. We should be good again tomorrow. I'm wearing all black today. I left my helmet in my dad's car. So I had to wear my, my lashes helmet. I need to put the black flight jackets on and just completely black socks and black shorts. Obviously I've got my white shoes because always white shoes, whatever the circumstance, never, never wear black shoes in my humble opinion. But uh, yeah, I quite like wearing all black. I just feel, feel stealth, man. But it's nice and bright today. If it wasn't, then I recommend if you want to wear all black, then you take a light with you because you don't stand out to the traffic. But today's not an issue because it's bright, it's sunny. Look at that, 20 degrees in my current location. That seems a far cry away to the, to the 12 degrees in rain that we had about six hours ago. 37K we got done today. It wasn't the five hour ride I had planned, but given the circumstances, it's not too bad. And just like that, we're in the car and we're on the way to Norfolk. It's now about half past six. I'm not actually on my way to Norfolk. Uh, that is a lie. But I am on my way to Monica's house. Uh, the plan is to go to her house and stay there tonight. Then wake up tomorrow morning, set off the first thing and arrive in Norfolk around midday tomorrow. So that's what I'm going to do right now. Uh, but that is the end of today's video, guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, uh, be sure to leave a like. We've got a, we've got a fun few days coming up now with the national championships. So uh, stay tuned for that. And with that being said, guys, I'll see you tomorrow at the same usual time of 4 p.m. Peace!